Okay, what we're going to have a look at here is using a CSG polygon and a path to create a custom shape and design, for example, a racetrack. So I've got a little first person character that I've pre made here, and we have our shape that the character can move around on. So, what we're going to do is go through the steps to create this. I'm going to get rid of everything except for the player and the directional light, but I'm just going to hide that player for now. First thing I want to do is I'm going to add a path 3D object. So we've got path 3D and I'm going to jump onto the top down view. Now there's a few different options. So there's Blue, which lets you select points, shift drag, control points, so basically adding curves, green for add, add, red for delete, and a closed curve option. We can actually get to most of the features just using the first one and by pressing control. So I've changed my view just so I'm looking top down. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Let's actually just turn that light off. That's because it's now got the world environments on there, so that's why we've got some of those details. So I'm just going to go on my path 3D, hold down control, and just connect up a few different points. Uh, when I'm finished, I can click on the close curve, and it joins it back up. And what we can sort of see is we've got this path that has been built around here. Now, the little circles at each point, if we grab the little fill handles, we can actually sort of rotate the path. But I'm going to actually leave that out for now. And if we jump into the curve and go to the points, we can actually play around with a bunch of these different positions and so on if we need to. So we can customize a whole bunch of features here. By default, I know it says, you know, shift drag, you should be able to select the control points, but it doesn't always work when you're in top down view. If we just go to a side on view, we can actually stretch those out. Under options, mirror handle. So that will basically make the curves stretch out from both sides, depending on which way you connect them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put some nice little curves around some of these. But note, when we're sort of editing here, we're going through and actually changing on the y-axis as well. Okay, so we've got a fair few points that have come through here. And so now we can actually sort of go and see this path that's been created. Now what I want to do is actually go and add a shape onto this. So I'm just going to go and add a child node. I'm going to add a CSG polygon 3D. Now by default, it's a rectangle. I'm actually just going to attach this one straight on and let's just go and have a look at what this looks like. So we're going to jump in, change from mode to path. Under path node, where it says the sign, we're going to link it up to our path. And we can see we've actually got our design here. And it's just copied the two, that 2D polygon around the shape. So if we actually go and modify this polygon shape, you can actually see that the shape has actually changed as well. Now if we go into the polygon, if we press control, we can add extra little points. So I'm going to go and modify this. Just so we've got what looks like a little new shape. So we can see that's actually changed this whole design here. Other things you might want to make sure that you've got path continuous checked. Also, check path joined and just the part where it starts 
and finishes, it will just tidy up those points at the edge. You can also smooth it out, so it sort of like rounds it out, but usually not needed. Okay, and there are a few other settings that you can play around with as well. So I'm just going to turn that directional light back on, and now we can actually see our design a bit better. You can see it's a little bit messy around here, so you might want to go back, modify the way that this end is actually connected, just to tidy up some of these changes. So it can take it be a little bit finicky, tidying up these edges around. So sometimes what is easier to do, hold down control, put an extra point in. You can right click to delete a node. I don't want to actually delete that one. We can actually get some different points in here. And let's just join that one back up. Now let's go and have a look at this. A lot nicer. So we can sort of play around. What's nice about this is that we can actually make these points and spin the curve around. So what we might want to do is actually just build the node horizontally first just on one plane and you can always go and modify it later once you've got this shape assigned to it okay so we've got this built let's go turn back on our player object let's zoom in on them and let's just move them so they're actually in over top of the level and we're just going to run this and we form through because we forgot one last step on a shape make sure we turn use collision. So any CSG shape you use, make sure you turn it turn on use collision. And so now we've got our shape. And our character can move around. So we can actually have what looks like a little bit of a racetrack. And that's basically how to go and create and modify a CSG polygon and attach it to a path which can be really, really useful for making racetracks or environments that you need your character to move around. Okay, hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks a lot. We're slowly working our way through using a bunch of CSG polygons and other tools to help with building and prototyping levels and other assets.